What it do, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't finna waste no time, man. Shouts out to Jack TV, man. Shouts out to Jack TV, man. He's steady posting the bangers, man. He's steady putting in that work, man. He's steady getting these loyalty tests out there for us, man. You did. It's good, man. It's good work, bro. For sure. Will his girlfriend trade him for a guy with more clout? I highly doubt it, man. I'm going to give the girl a benefit of the doubt, man. I always give the women a benefit of the doubt, man. I always give the women a benefit of the doubt, man. She ain't finna, man, she ain't gonna trade him in because she know where her boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? She know where he where he gonna go. She know she messing with a boss. She went ahead and hadn't even started messing with him. And she, you know what I'm saying? She already know what's going on. She just, you know what I'm saying? He gonna have his time just like everybody else got their time. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's why she, that's why she with him now. So she ain't doing, she ain't doing that. All right, all right, Jack TV. We'll get into it, y'all. She ain't finna do it. She ain't gonna do it. I know she ain't gonna, nothing no clout. No, maybe, maybe about 10 mil. Yeah, not no clout, man. Get that out of here, man. She got her own clout, man. She a girl. Duh. She ain't doing it. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. We ain't gonna waste no time. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. Send me some more videos in the comment section below. Drop them videos down below. You did. All right, let go, y'all. Whatever, and she went to his Instagram and liked pictures and commented heart emojis and all type of shit under there, like, insinuating that she likes him. Yeah, yeah, I, I dated a girl before when she, like, like, you know, like the typical people, like Drake, J. Cole. All right, so my question to you is, what's the difference from doing that to a regular guy? Would, would you consider it cheating if she did that to a regular guy that, she was, that was more accessible? That would definitely be cheating. You can link up with a regular guy, but what happens when that celebrity responds? Good question. So that's exactly why we're here today, you guys. Legacy reached out to me and the team because he wanted to put his girlfriend to the loyalty test for that very reason, to see if she was truly loyal to him or not. You've been talking for about, I want to say, like seven months now. Like seven months? Yeah. So what made you like seven months? Girlfriend? Well, she, she told me, you know, so we... I ain't going to care. I would never put my girl on, though. If I had a girl, I would never put her on something like this. Why being? It's because she ain't, my, she ain't going to be my girl if I got to watch her and track her down like that. That ain't my girl. You feel me? Like you already know. So again, if I if I'm talking to a chick, I'm knowing that's my chick. I'm not finna put her on no 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 type of loyalty test. I can tell. I tell our vibe. I can tell if you, you tripping. I can tell if you doing stuff behind my back. I can tell. Like we can all tell. So I'm not putting my girl on a loyalty test. I'm just gonna let her know face to face. Hey, I know you out here doing some fake grimy stuff and guess what? I ain't I ain't here for it. And you know what I'm saying? It's twenty twenty four. Ain't nobody finna do me like that. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I got that vibe where they like, nah. They know they do me like that. They just messed up. I got God in my life. They already know not to do that. You can't do that with, with God children. They already know not to do that. You feel me? I'm telling you, man. Hey, if you respect yourself, she gonna respect you too. For sure. It ain't no way around it. She, she ain't not, got no other choice. He's a respectful man. He clean. Man, come on now. She got no other choice but to respect you. But when you ain't respecting yourself, now you worry. Now you got fear. You ain't got God in your life. Now you got fear. So now you got to find Jack TV and be like, yo, Jack, you got to help me out. You got to find one of the angels, the earth angels, to help you out. Okay. But Jack doing his thing, though, for sure. Like I said, he's an earth angel, regardless if he know it or not. I can see it. He probably can't see it, but I can see it. You know what I'm saying? He's something special. You feel me? Just like we all are, right? We all got our, our corpse. We all got our stuff going on. But yeah. All right, let's get into it, though. That's enough talking. Let's see what she going to do. She ain't leaving. She ain't leaving me, bro. Right? You a good guy, right? So she ain't gonna leave. Yeah, I went up and down here and there, but she tells me, you know what I'm saying, with my insecurities being that I believe she's trying to use me for a benefit, you know what I'm saying? Either it's like some money, some cloud, or whatever it may be. Why you think that, though? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just because she likes influences pictures, and you know what I'm saying? It's not really that. That's the problem, because I know influences, influences, this, that, and the third, but it's more so the comments that she thinks I doesn't see. Mm -hmm. Hard eyes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I understand that she may think they might not see it, mm -hmm. but that's not really the case. Because if you do comment these hard eyes and these comments that you comment on these influencers' pages, right? They can shoot in your DM anytime they want. Right. And if you fall for man, you a man, you should never worry about somebody shooting in somebody DM or anything. And then she your girl, so she gonna go. She gonna come tell you. She gonna come tell you. There's plenty of girls on told me, guess who just hit me up? Like, I'm looking at their phone. They're like, look, look, Uzi, look, this person, that person. I'm like, I'm like, oh, cool. I'm like, you finna respond back? They're like, nah. <laughs> or I'll get to it later. Like, they, I'm telling you, man, when you keep it real with them, they gonna keep it real with you. They can tell you anything at that point. They're not gonna feel scared. They're not gonna feel ashamed. They're gonna keep it real 100%. 
You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be your girl therapist. She ain't supposed to be talking about, let's go. We got to go to a therapist to talk to her. Man, you're supposed to be the therapist. You're supposed to communicate with her. She's supposed to be reassured by everything from you because you leading with God, right? It's you and God, so she coming to you. Who else you going to go to? You see what I'm saying? You can't go to nobody else, baby. But that's what I'm saying. Some of y'all ain't leading with God. You're leaving with the devil, so you got fear in your heart. So now you got you to gotta do all this other stuff just to figure out if this person, that person doing this and that. God don't authorize no confusion. God don't have no confusion going on. Everything is in order. Anything in confusion, you start getting confused. That's manipulation. Manipulation, that's the devil. That's evil energy. That's toxic energy. Come on now. I'm speaking to somebody out there. Come on now. Well, how would I not? You know what I'm saying? This is already a secret to me. Hey, so this is why I have God shows, God shows, brings the dark to the light. That's how you know. That's not it, bro. Put she God first, bro. Twenty twenty four. That's one up for me, I guess. Infinity and beyond. All right, let's see though. Let's see though. Would you tell her she's on a test? Nah, she gonna pass, bro. I don't think I want to tell her that she's on a test just because of the fact that she don't feel like I am not trust her from the jump. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's how I feel. You putting your girl on a test? That's what I'm saying, bro. What? If I was your homie, I'd be like, no, don't. Don't do that, bro. Like, don't, don't you ever do that, no, bro. Because legacy girlfriend already got a background of commenting and liking other celebrities slash influencers posts, huh? we took the liberty of making our own posts to see what celebrities or influencers we can find to possibly be a decoy for this loyalty test. So after a few hours, our DMs were flooded with possible inquiries to be decoy. But we picked the one person who we thought that would be a perfect fit for this loyalty test. I made a post on Instagram about like basically reaching out to influencers to see if they would be a part of this, and I actually came across one, and that person was. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, 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 okay. Hey, what's your deal? Yeah, it's your deal. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, so okay. he agreed to actually do the decoy for this video. Oh, shit. Okay. This is where Play Benchy comes in. Boom, get the bus and bitch, I go to like I'm easy. You're telling her she's an ambassador. Basically, you're getting her to model for shit. That's why y'all meet up to have a business. Yeah, man. yeah. Hey, okay, okay. Let's see, G-O-A, G-O-A. Hey, G-O, hey. Yeah, we, hey, we here, bro. <laughs> hey. Not only was Smooth Gio a perfect fit, after talking to Lexi for a few minutes, we found out that his girlfriend actually watches him. So Smooth Gio hit up Slate to try to get her to become a brand ambassador for Play Benji. In doing so, we actually found out that Smooth Gio unintentionally sped up the process of this whole loyalty test. Of course. What's good, bro? So I DM'd right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What happened? But I told her I, I've been used to it already. So if you ever start shooting leaking shit like that, so I, we have to do this shit quick before shit, you know what I'm saying, get fucked up. All right, man, so when, when did you uh, tell her y'all was going to meet up and shit? Are we still, like, working on it, but I told her I'm, I'm, I'm here for a couple days. Like, Can you get out here tomorrow if I fly you up? Yeah, I can do tomorrow, I can do tomorrow. Alright, that's a bit, bro. I'm gonna book your flights and shit, so just send me, like, your full name and shit. I'm gonna book the flight, I'm gonna get you out tomorrow. We'll start that bitch tomorrow. I'm gonna do it, I appreciate it, baby. Thank you for participating, bro. Okay. What's up, bro? What's up? Okay. So I hopped on the phone real quick with Gio to see where he was, and he ended up telling me that he was at Carousel 9, so that's where we were headed. Yo. Hey, we about baggage claims. Alright, then I'm, I'm, like, I'm doing it for my bad. I bet oh, people in the airport are like, who is them? They got TV, they got cameras and everything. Somebody else is like, that's Jack TV. What are they waiting on? Like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's how it be. I'm telling you. Now you go to the mall, anything like that. People are like, is that Ian the producer? <laughs> they like, you Ian the producer? I'm like, what's up, man? <laughs> my family like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what, what, uh, what can I say yet? Slide, slide, slide. Yeah. Mm. Man, they got the all black on. I know. Look, look, look. She moving out the way. She's like, let me back up a little bit. Let's get on, Let's get on. 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 Let's how you doing, Smoke? You said your name was what? Legacy. Legacy, okay, okay. I like okay. that. Now, before you do anything man. like this, let me know, like, what you're cool, what you're not cool with. I don't want to, like, put a line on nothing. Nah, I mean, 
really, I mean, we in this thing to get the most out of it. You know what I'm so, yeah, if you take the light, she's going to accept it like, I already know what type of person she is. So if you no, put that sure. pressure on her, which is what I want you to do, no more is going to that pressure on her. Yeah, pressure on no more is going If she go for it, go for it. That's what we're trying to see what's going on. If you want him to put the pressure and he do that, mm -hmm. later on, don't get mad. Oh, nah, nigga, we yeah. chill. You know, you know, I see that shit all in the video. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. want you to get, you know what I'm saying, mad at He remind me of Flight. He remind me of Flight. He cool. He a cool guy. Okay, he a cool guy. Okay. Okay, okay, we're gonna see. Okay, he a cool guy right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah and he's and I, of course, and I'm gonna say what I say in the video as well, so that it's already incorporated. It's Gucci. Alright, so we locked in. Yeah, we locked in, baby. Right, Only yeah. thing I just say, now off camera. Don't try to kiss that motherfucker. Being that everything was sped up, the little two sets is actually unfolding very oh smoothly. Gosh. All we are waiting for now mean? is for later on when mean, Slay and Gio mean? finally gets to meet for the first time and everything begins. Alright, so the girls who, uh, Who's playing the fans is outside. How y'all liking this arrangement, man? This is nice. How y'all doing? Y'all can just come here real quick. Take a seat. Uh, hello. I'm going to close this door. So girls for arrangement. All right, so yeah. In a minute, we're going to have you um, sit at these two tables. If you look at this window, it's a table over there. Mm -hmm. Just sit in the middle. We're basically going to set up around you. You talking about that table over there? Yeah, it's like, yeah, that table right there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wanted to ask you now, what made you want to do this, though? Uh, really just thinking, you know what I'm saying, and really having to, you know what I'm saying, a view of what I had a view on. You know, she just commented on too many influences and stuff, and I say commented, like literally. Comment on, like what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like hard eyes or even hard hey, what? Yeah, exactly. So did she know, like, did she? Yeah, because one thing, it hit the light, and then you start commenting, especially if you're in a relationship. You're single, then you can do what you want to do. Shit. You can show all the love all you want to, but sometimes when you get in those relationships, you know what I'm saying? And then it depends on who you with. So you got to make sure you communicate with your partner, like, hey, is it... Is it okay if I hit the like on this on, on photos and stuff like that? Or are they fine with it? Yeah, like I don't care about that. Okay, cool. And then, what about what if I leave a little comment, a little whatever? You got to make sure you ask them about that because some people, you know, what I'm saying because of their own morals and principles, they they not going for you know. So that can be something where it could be a deal breaker. It'd be like, well, I want somebody who likes to comment in hard eyes just like I do. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody who likes to show love unconditionally just like I do. So then at that point, he's like, okay, all right, and you may have to find somebody else to fuck with. And then vice versa, he wants somebody who doesn't do all of that, who's somebody who doesn't care for doing all of that. Who, you know what I mean? And definitely that's out there too. So that's why the communication part is key. Because once you can communicate with this person and y'all got to understand it, now we, can, now we can progress. You know what I'm saying? Together or not. You feel me? Now you're not wasting nobody's time. You feel me? You're not wasting no money. You ain't breaking nobody's heart. You know what I mean? And that's reassurance. You feel me? Communication is key. For sure. Because we all got different principles. We all got different morals. I might want to go to bed at 8 o'clock. You want to go to bed at, at 12. You telling me to wake up. I'm trying to go to sleep, though. Now I'm irritated. Now you irritated because I'm trying to go to sleep. But you think, you know what I mean? It could be anything. But it's like... You see how that goes back and forth? But we, if we communicate, it was like, yo. And we had an understanding. You see what I'm saying? Because if we can't get an understanding, we both can't agree. You know what I'm saying? Then it ain't going to work, right? You got to make sure. Make sure we, we, we agreeing. Not necessarily agreeing. Agreeing and disagree, but also at least communicating so we both have an understanding of what's going on. Know about him before? Like, did she watch him? Yeah, cause I didn't. I, well, I didn't know who Smooth Gio was until she showed me. I'm not really big on YouTube or nothing like that. Yeah. But when she showed me who it was, I got interacted. But it also just felt a little awkward too. Like she had something else going on. You know what I'm saying? She gave me like different intentions than when she talked with me. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get about here, y'all. Before she arrives, you know, let's go ahead and do it. Say crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. But you know. No, they do. So now that Smooth Geo is exactly where we want him and the vans are parked exactly how we want him as well. We got the cameras in position. All we're waiting on is Slay to arrive so that she can walk right into our very own loyalty test. Get it. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you can probably come in through over there. Yeah. Hopefully she keep it peeled. You say what? 
Hello, how are you doing? Nice to see you in person. What you say? You said it was somebody sitting on the table. What you say? Nothing. It was interesting. Oh, I'm good, you? Good. It's so freaking cold. I was say I know it's cold they outside. Why y'all? Y'all said y'all. They need to see inside, not outside. She cold. Okay. Okay. Already knowing. Huh? I've been messaging you forever. You have? Yes. Yes, I saw Jazz. I didn't see that. Merch. So far, so good. Jazz, huh? So merch. far, so good. Uh huh. Yes, and I love your merch, by the way. I got this fit on right now. Oh, yeah. Yo, so I messaged you because I wanted to do your hair. Nice fit, bro. Oh, word. You know I'm a hairstylist. Oh, I didn't know that. See, you ain't tell me that. Look, well, you didn't even look at my message. I you know, did, though. I responded back. It took me like 20 times, bro. No, I mean, no. line, I would say, like, you know, if there was like a Houston wood. You can fuck up out of here. Nah, you Ask her, pop the question quickly. You got a boyfriend? Like, ask her. Cause let's see what she gonna say. I'm trying. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see where she going. So far, she doing good though. Like it's just a smooth conversation, bro. He pulled up the chair. It's a. It's a favorite celebrity. Like that's like. That's like me meeting Beyonce, uh, Ari Ariana Grande. Oh, what's good? Like, hey, like it's like it's a it's a heart touching moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shoot. Like you feel me? Like, so that's how she feeling right now. That's her favorite celebrity. That's what it sound like to me. So like she doing good. She ain't doing. She ain't did nothing yet. You feel me? Okay. Even though me personally. I tell I tell girls, man, don't be hugging on them boys. Don't be hugging on you. Yeah. What up, homie? What up? You know what I'm saying? What up, bro? What up? Yeah, keep it like that. Don't be hugging on them. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of. You feel me? Like, yeah, don't just be hugging on everybody. That's that's just like me personally, because as soon as you come like that, it's like now my 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 thing is literally touching you. Yeah. <laughs> That's you're a little too close. You feel me? That's just me personally. I'm just like everybody shouldn't be that close to you. Everybody shouldn't be all in your space. Everybody can't be in your circle. You know what I mean? We already know that. So it's like sometimes you gotta keep that distance. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes elbow, whatever, boom, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. But no, nah, I mean Can't get too friendly all the time. Man. What's up, what's up? I got all types. I got orange, pink, green, yellow. Well, black is my favorite color. But I even got a black one too. I got a black one too. That's okay. Clean. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yes. I yes. get you right for sure for sure. So if you do my hair, I can give you the I give you the sweatsuit in exchange for the hair. I love service and service. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else you can offer? Hey, what's that mean? <laughs> what's she talking about? Anything else he can offer? What you talking about right now? What's she talking about right now? Oh man, what you talking about, girl? Don't start this. I'm like, hey, if I was my, I'm, I'm not about that. I'm, I'm gonna run this whole van over there. I'm gonna run you over. Uh, I'm just playing. We ain't gonna run the girl over. I'm just playing. But I would feel that way on the inside. I be mean, thinking that. I mean, I'm just, I just <laughs> like I said it out loud, so that means I had to be thinking it. But now I'm just playing. We ain't gonna do that. What's your name, Well, you know, service is service. Like, you might be able to do other stuff. Like what? You know what I mean? No. You can change me doing your hair. But, like, what are you talking about? You can scratch my back. I can scratch yours. Oh, really? In what way, though? Okay, well. You talking on a little bit? I'm talking about you. Well, I don't know. Like, I mean, well, first, first. Yeah, you too. I wouldn't have told you back if that wasn't the case. So what? Did I just get killed because you didn't hit me back for a long time? Too? Uh oh, bro. This ain't this ain't smelling too good, bro. I'm sorry, bro. This ain't smelling too good, bro. I'm I'm thinking this is damn near over now. Cause she talking about you scratch my back, I scratch yours. I don't know what that means, bro. Cause if anything, you supposed that's your job. You you the boyfriend. That's your job. You feel me? That's his job. Like whatever she needs, she supposed to come to you. You supposed to be the provider. Protect her, everything. She needs something, she supposed to come to you. No other guy. Not even her daddy no more. You feel me? Because she's supposed to come to you. That's what they like. They want you to be the daddy. They want you to be the, the big dick energy. They want you to have all of that going on. So she shouldn't have to go to nobody. She shouldn't even think about going to nobody else. They got a hundred billion, hundred billion in the account. Who else you gonna go to? You gonna ask Steve Jobs for some money? You gonna ask who you gonna ask Michael Jordan for some money? You gonna ask LeBron for what? When I, we already got it. We got all the money. Who you gonna ask the money for when we already got all the money? We the bank. We a walking bank. You feel me? Come on now. Especially when you got God in your life, man. Hey, hey, hey. The blessings come in. Ugh. It be it be rolling in. Purple rain. It be rolling in, man. It is typhoons be coming in, man. It be like, dang, where all that money come from? You had to give it away. 
told you it's Christmas every day. I tell y'all about this Christmas every single day. You are blessed every single day. But uh, what she what, what she got going on, bro? Hey, you can just end it now. If if she start talking crazy again, hold up now. We gonna give up. We gonna give her a little bit of time. Hold up now. Let's just straighten. Let her straighten herself out. All right. All right. Let's go. Shit, I don't think Jasmine's cute to me. Like, why she out here modeling your stuff? First, first of all, Jazz don't even go that way. You know what I'm saying? So we need to talk about Jazz. Okay. Dang, you talking about another girl too? Ooh, that's dirty. You don't do that. You don't throw your women under the bus. You a woman. You don't do that. You never talk about another woman and what they got going on. Whoa. Oh man, she been thinking about this for a minute, bro. I love now. We don't have to talk about her anywhere. Where are we doing my hair at, then? Cause my shit's gonna get dry and shit like that. Yeah, what? Like, yeah, I mean, she still. She said, "Wherever you want me to, you gonna help me out or what?" She still going about that. Yo, and this is what I be telling y'all. This is what I be telling y'all, cause they be treating me like this. This is what I be telling y'all. You think it's just a normal girl, you trying to do business with her or whatever, and it's just like, well, don't you got a boyfriend? You got a husband? She like, so? He not here right now. He don't care. He ain't going now. I ain't gonna tell him nothing. And it's cool, like, I ain't gonna kiss until me. I ain't finna call that man and tell him nothing. Hey, you feel me? But it's like, at the same time, I'm not doing that. It's 2024. Nah, I mean we ain't doing that. We we trying to we got we gotta set the record straight, bro. We gotta tell these people with when they when they do wrong, we gotta tell them, hey, bro. You, we gotta tell them, yeah, you need to tighten up. Like he said, you gotta tighten up. We gotta start really putting our foot down, bro. You can't just be letting these girls get everything how they way. They got their cake eat it too. Nah, it ain't happening around me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you feel me? Like you ain't finna be. Hmm. <laughs> I'm here for a couple of days, so I mean we can do it while I'm here. Well, I'm fucked up. Yeah, until when? So Wednesday. So if I extend my flight to Thursday or Friday, can we make that happen? Um, we could definitely make it happen like this, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So you gotta stay till next Saturday. Next. Mm. See, I don't know about that. See, I gotta handle some shit, but yeah, I can exactly. definitely come back though. Or you can, you know, bring me out to where you at. <gasps> to home. Maybe. Cause my travel fee, like you know, we could just make that the plane ticket. Mm hmm. No, oh, that's so good. Right. Real cold. Yeah. I was gonna say, how far are you stay from here? Um, I stay like 30, 45 minutes. I'm in mm. Rosenberg. Okay. Get the info that'll do it anytime. Really? Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this should be. Oh, this should be. Oh, this should be. All over Houston. Do it care. Yeah, absolutely. What you doing tonight? Gio, Gio, you gotta ask her if she got a boyfriend and stuff. You gotta get into more into detail into that equation. Forget, yeah, forget all that hair stuff and all that stuff. Um, tonight, I'm just going with the flow. I don't have any, like, plans for tonight. I've already done what I need to do. Being that Gio and Slay was in the club and said that we knew this could possibly be a reason as to why she won't open up as much or mm -hmm. kind of stay conservative. So we send in two more decoys for Trey. And it's cold outside. And as fans. So Gio can use that as an excuse to go to his van. So maybe I might have to bring you down to Miami. Yeah. Or maybe, yeah. I think my my B&B like 15 minutes from there. Yo, who? My B&B. Oh, wait, I, I thought you said something completely different. What you got out I thought you said your BM. Nah, I'm a BM. You probably got that. Oh, yeah. Hello, how you doing? I'm so sorry. Wait, are you here? Yeah, yeah, what's up? How y'all doing? Y'all good? I'm Lisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I take a picture? Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. I'm sorry about that. How are you doing over there? Hey. 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 This way you want to stand right here, right here. You stand right here, come on. All right, babe. It's cute. It's cute. Okay. Thank you. So no problem. All right, man. Ooh, I have a good one. Be safe. Okay. Oh, wow. You in the age, you still getting play? That's Duh. What is wrong with this shit? You don't get play what is play no man these are fans these are supporters what are you talking about right now play this ain't no play that's what y'all think that is no what is wrong with y'all i just think everybody's trying to this ain't no play these are supporters man yes he has supporters around the world girl he's global is you tripping you thought it was just one state what be wrong with y'all these are millionaires what are you talking about 
think he just locally known? Are you crazy? People in people in fucking China over there. Geo smooth, Geo smooth. Like, come on, now you better better put some respect on Geo name, man. Boy, y'all be tripping. Boy, come on now. We everybody international at this point. Come on now. Some countries still don't even have internet. As soon as they get internet and they get on they get on the YouTube and the TikTok and all that, they're gonna find out about everybody uh, all over again. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a continuous chain reaction. That's the point of us doing this. This stuff gonna be here forever. This girl tripping, she just kinda pissed me off with that. She don't know a star when she see one. Okay. That's crazy. What are you okay. talking about, man? Well, you're not even from y'all. That don't matter. What does that mean? I mean, it doesn't. I'm not saying it does. Most of my audience is not from my um my home city. Most, really? uh, well, I wouldn't know that. I just, I don't even remember how. Unless like, you put the city on. Like, like the Migos, put the city on. I, just, I didn't know you had this much recognition that you still like this wild. Nah, usually whenever I step out and shit, somebody recognizes me and shit. What? Every That's day. Dope. That's why I look key, like, I ain't even really trying to, you know. Like, <laughs> Got you. I wish we could have been, you know what I'm saying, on my screen over there. I have blocked the screen. I don't know if you want to just vibe me on this pole right now and shit. You actually can't because it's crazy. You want to? Yeah. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now to get in the sprinter. Yes. And you're like too okay. popular. I don't have time to keep it. Yeah, we put my hoodie on. Yeah, we put my hoodie on. And just like that, Smooth Geo and Slay would now hit it right where we wanted them to. Yes, okay. Sprinter van. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is nice, Chio! You like it? Yes, uh, okay, and okay. it's so warm. Uh, way warmer. Wait, is it back here? Okay, awesome. Now, this shit way warmer. Oh, yeah, this Goodness. is like Party Bus vibes. For sure. You it's just came nice up here or you just made it because you came out? So you Maybe. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Oh, okay. What are you like? Trying to be mysterious? The fuck? Maybe. <laughs> okay. I would just match your energy, maybe. Match it all the way. <laughs> so it's like the perfect vibe for us to talk business. No, most definitely. That's why I brought you in here. Perfect. So if you didn't, if you didn't drive here and then like, I could always take you back. No, I didn't drive. Like I expect to be drinking, so I wanted to be responsible. I'm not Yeah. Okay, I'm not ready to drink. Oh, no, I like how y'all like Yes. Okay, so. You gotta keep going. I wanna see how far gonna go for real. Facts. I'm trying to find out too. I'm trying to skip nothing. I like that video. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Miss Yard, okay, so you're in Miami? She just gonna mm -hmm. go big time. You know time, what? Man. I have never been to Miami. Yeah, so just remember, keep in mind. No, it's all up to you. You wanna go in and stop it at any time? Just let me know. But for you? I wanna see how far she gonna go for real. Wait, everybody else goes to Miami. She's the type to say. This was so I'm like the average person, Geo. Like I like. Right, right, and that's what I'm really trying to listen to. Right, you're right. Most of them will say that. I mean, most of the time it do be for business. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, <clears throat> depending on, but you can tell a business woman. She looks, sounds a certain type of way. Like, for example, Lotto, Lotto. You know what I'm saying, Ruby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell when she about her business, when she about her money, and she ain't playing no games, bro. You know what I'm saying? A Queen Latifah. You can tell when they about business and they ain't playing no games. She, she didn't there slap a nigga. You, you can tell when a girl about her business. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell when they playing around. They on that little kid, little immature, playing around, trying to be, sit in everybody's lap type energy. You you can tell. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's see how far she gonna go for sure. To do what? You gotta be more specific than that because everybody always saying that person. So right, so I wouldn't go to Miami. I haven't been. There's nothing like that drives me out there, but you would drive me out there. Exactly. I feel like you would fly me. Crazy. Fly like, you, sure. you have to do that here. Oh, for the Absolutely. Have you not seen my work? Well, I thought you meant I'm um, like the person. So. Well, it's, everything starts off in business typically, right? You go out there looking for a person? No, but I'm saying, like, I'm just talking about life. Yeah. I mean, it could be. Mm. I thought, like, but so you want me to fly you out? Yeah, I do. Fuck the business. I don't want to just come out there for fun. Like, I want you to fly me out. Like, it could be personal, but. Yeah, tell me personal, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, she out of there. Like, real out of there. Real lean. I understand. She's too flame. I can't do this. Yeah, I am flick. I need it too. I am so lit. Exactly why I so, said the phone is I, I know she was too flame. Like, whatever it is. Oh. 
boys. I'm saying if you got a boyfriend, how is it going to be personal? It can't be personal. It can be personal. No, it can't be personal. I got somebody. I'm just coming out there to do your hair. I'm trying to get some money. I'm getting paid. I'm on business. You know what I'm saying? I got some other events. I got the, lined up out there too. Got some other clients. That's that's business. That's why it could be personal. What about what happened to your man's? What happened? What happened to your man? And sometimes, let me just tell y'all about this real quick. Sometimes, because the way women work, if she was already planning on leaving him, this would be her. This would be like an opportunity where she's gonna, you know what I mean? Like she was already planning. If she was already planning on leaving him, like she already disconnected from the relationship. You feel me? Sometimes they don't leave that same day. Obviously, right? Sometimes they disconnect from it, and y'all, you as a man, we think, oh, we still together, we still vibing, and really, now nah, she done with you. Now she looking for the next, not necessarily looking for the next, but you know what I'm saying. If opportunity sh shows itself, she gonna move on with that next opportunity. Um, that's what it sounds like here. I'm not sure. Like I said, we don't know what happened behind the scenes. What happened? Of why she's not putting her man first? Why she's not saying, nah, it's not personal. I got a nigga, I got a boyfriend, he gonna be with my husband one day. Like, she not promoting her mans as if he's not doing his job behind the scenes. So, so for Brody, if you're not doing your job behind the scenes, you're giving her a hard time, you're giving her a headache. When she finds somebody that's a, 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 a breath of fresh air, she find a, something that's new, something that ain't, ain't too crazy compared to what she's already in, of course she gonna be like a cat and she gonna go on to the next home. Where the grass seems like it's greener. You heard what I said? Where the grass seems like it's greener. Then she get over there and then she find out the grass ain't as green as you thought it was. <sighs> now we in something else, right? And this is why communication is key. Like tell that man, if you if you done with him, let him know. That way you, you wouldn't even have to do none of this. See what I'm saying? As soon as you find out, man, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I don't want to be with you no more. Um, and we can either be friends or we don't have to talk at all. Like, keep it simple and clean and clear like that. As a man, I'm like, okay, all right, I don't want, we can't be friends, because I'll tell you that right now. And, nah, <laughs> you dig, right? So it's like, okay, cool. She can go on about her way, I can go on about my way. And then if, if God brings us back together, we know that, we know, if, if it brings if bring us back together, then yeah, we can be friends again. But and initially, it's like, nah, we're we gonna have to just cut it off. So that way, I'm not sitting there feeling no type of way while you doing you and then while I'm doing me, you not feeling no type of way. And then that way you don't get into your head like, nah, he with these other girls. Uh -uh, I want my man back. Like, you know, because they'll do, they'll do that. They'll see you. They being your friends. And then they see you having fun and you having a good life and you smiling and you happy. Now they want to come back in on that. Right. And vice versa, same thing. The woman, she finally got the relationship right. She got the relationship. Now she happy. She with her friends. She with her home. She got her hair done. She got her nails. And she feeling good. Her money going up. She feeling good. She she dropped this dusty, dirty, whatever, busted, broke guy, right? So she feeling good. Now the guy want to come back in. He he looking at He like, oh, she can't be happy without me. Like, now he want to be in. Now he want to get back involved in the situation. You see where I'm going with it, y'all? And that's why I'm saying, nah, we can't, we, what's the, we can't, what's the point of us being friends? We can't be together. How are we going to be friends? That don't even make sense. It don't make no sense to me. That means, that means in my head, that's like, that, that's like a slap in the face. So you telling me I'm not worth the relationship. I'm only worth a friendship. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That was, I never heard a girl tell me that. And most of y'all don't even communicate correctly. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> y'all don't know how to communicate. Y'all think y'all do. Y'all don't. It's how close you've been getting, y'all. So, I do all kinds of stuff, you know. But, let's see. And I've been wanting to do your hair. Give I've a little time, like bro. 50,000 times, and you just hit me back. You can't, Why you keep bringing it up? Because I need you to realize, like, it was very important. But this is not my age. This is some of my work. Like, all of this pressure. Mm -hmm. Period. But it's all girls, though. You ain't even gonna die. I do. Now, this is a football player. Period. Okay, okay you Period. snap it. Yeah, I'm pressure. Period. You snap it. Yes, sir. So, yeah. You think you can work with my hair? Like, of you ever work with somebody that had my shit? Mm -hmm. Where's the, like, concrete here? Mm. <laughs> I'm judging. Well, what you get? Was that a little aggressive? Not me. Dang!
She said, was that aggressive? Then she feeling on it. She trying to feel the muscles in the leg, man. She trying to see if you standing tall, you standing firm. But uh, that's too friendly. Yeah, you failed. She failed, bro. She failed. Like I said, that's what I'm saying. I, I personally think in her head, like, she been done with this man like a week or two ago. You see what I'm saying? Because women don't just, they don't just do this, y'all. Normally, no. She ain't had no liquor or nothing. They normally don't just do this unless they know in their mind, I am done with this guy and I'm moving on. She may not have told you yet, bro, but we seen by actions and the way she talking, she getting flown out. Obviously, she's done with you. Okay? And you should be done with her. Because we see it. That's obviously here. And again, she ain't doing nothing wrong, y'all. Again, she already premeditated that she was done. She just hasn't told Brody. And in between time, since she didn't tell him, like I told y'all, you need to tell people. Once you figure that out, you need to tell people. In between time, he set this up. And now, God put both, all of it together. Now, they both get to see it face to face. And that's how I be working. Man, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling y'all, bro. All right. All right. You can touch it. I just had a leg brace. My leg brace. I was like, oh, my bad. I so was actually going to be on the side. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know what they say about people that finish each other's sentences? Mm. What is it? So watching his loyalty test unfold, you guys, it's obvious that Slay is a huge fan of Smooth Gio. Mm -hmm. That's not rubbing Lexi the right way, man. At all. We can really do that after you. So by the time you come to Miami, I ain't going to be sore. Mm -hmm. I mean, but even if you were sore, like, if you think about something else, like anything else other than being sore, you won't feel the soreness. I can definitely take your mind somewhere else and chill. <laughs> you know, like, that's like okay. Crazy right you know, Geo, like, I can take your mind somewhere else. You get it? Geography. Mm -hmm. At the map, move you. So you don't fuck with nobody? You ain't got like I do. Nobody. I do how I do fuck with somebody, but you know, I'm not married or whatever. I feel like, huh? Nigga ain't put no ring on your finger? No. Damn. No, I'm not married, so the Bible says wife is loyal, not girlfriend. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Spiritually, it doesn't have to be a paper. That's that's like white man doing, right? If it's if it's a spiritual connection, like you know, that's your partner, that's my twin, that's my soulmate. It doesn't have to be any type of papers or any ring on your finger, right? So what you talking about is some outlandish type stuff. This is like trying to change the words of the Bible, trying to make it, trying to trying to bend the words, trying to make it your own. That's that's weird. You don't do stuff like that. Now you know for a fact spiritually. You see what I'm saying? But she didn't feel that connection then. She didn't feel that God connection. That's why I tell y'all, put God first. Always tell your wife about God. Always in every sentence, every argument, every anything. Always say God, 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 God. Make sure y'all put that in there. So that way she know where you're coming from. The most peaceful, most respectful place. Five, eight, say nothing about a girlfriend. They get you trying to loop around and say anything. It ain't no loop. It's black and white. Some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> See, he know it too. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't talk to plenty of women. We know how y'all be trying to manipulate games. You can't manipulate a real man. Cool. That's weird, like, bro. I mean, it's me fucking with nobody. Just... No, I am, but, you know, so, I'm you, open you to care. exploring my options. I'm saying you wow. don't care. This is my life. It's not about what he cares about. I mean, yeah, you okay. Yeah. What you got going on? You got a girlfriend that you scared about? No, you got a girlfriend. A wife? I mean, wife people. Really, I only respect wives. Girlfriends are crazy. So even if I did have a wife, you still But I don't even like want to talk about that because it's not even a situation. That, so I don't have to be. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, he got her. He caught her. He like, ha ha. Because he like, what if I did have a wife? Would you still be trying to hit on me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to bend the word just for the situation. That's crazy, y'all. About that, you feel me? So right. it's his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and you don't trip about I got her boyfriend. No, I ain't tripping. I just want to make sure you don't get caught up with him. Like, I mean, get caught up is crazy. I'm just saying, I don't want to say we start fucking with each other down the line. And, you know what I'm saying? The nigga end up busting in on. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, we don't know what's going. Like, 
Oh, they're on but the way. I'm telling you, I'm going to and, you know, oh. I've been wanting to, like, connect with you. Like, you say, no baby daddy drama, no nothing. No, I only got a boyfriend. I don't got no baby daddy. Okay, she did say she got a boyfriend. I like that, but still, she's not trying to respect him, though. Hey, man, I was just wish she would. I got a boyfriend, and it can't be none of that. But if I didn't have a boyfriend, then I mean, that's we, we obviously understand that. But it's like you saying, I got a boyfriend, and it's my life, so forget him. And I'm, a, I'm exploring my options. It's like, what's the point of having a boyfriend, then? Unless, unless you're saying you want multiple boyfriends, but if that's the case, you need to say that too. Cause some men are down with that. They like shoot. Yeah, some men are down with that, but y'all need to communicate. If you if you go to a man and be like, yo, you my boyfriend, he my boyfriend, and he my boyfriend, the guy's gonna look at each other like, shit, all right, <laughs> all right, cool. If you communicate correctly, y'all be trying to manipulate. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you fight with somebody, you got Ain't that, well, no, it's not the same thing. Cause you can have ten boyfriends, you want ten, you can have it. But you but just tell them. Like, Keep it real. Yeah. You got a goodness. Good to my hair. Do your hair and I want it to be a brand ambassador. I'm bringing merch. Yeah, we definitely got to talk about it. Yeah, country. I got to get you. I can rock that. Like, so you have I want a model to model? Yeah. The brand ambassador. I bring a uh, brand ambassador for a couple of boutiques. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. You say you want a black bitch. I do. I like the white too, but, you know, it can get dirty real fast. You don't even know if these seats, like, have dirt in them. Like, you get up and you might have anything on your butt, but, <laughs> <laughs> you have anything on your butt, but, but yeah. So, what's up? You still ain't do the smooth G.O. for me, the intro. <laughs> Do you even know how to do it? I'll do it if you know how to do it. Of course. I'll do it. Oh, hell yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Try it. Now nah, you make me not even want to do it, because that shit, you no, just fucked me up. Yeah, I'll just get in. No, nah, I'll do it for you, though. Okay. <laughs> See, now you trying to make it awkward, but... That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sorry. Yeah. Uh, shit, he really just hit the whole intro, bro. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now nah, we gotta work on that. We'll work on that. Yeah. Now. We gotta work on that. It like George is a jungle. Now you sound like someone hit your ass. You said, mm-hmm. I don't know what that word. No, you're not. I'm gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 That's what you want, right? I'm gonna spend the night with you. Yeah, spend the night with him? Hold on, I miss something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I miss something. What? How do we get to spend the night? Well, this is all smooth. No, I'm not smooth. That just. You know, I like it. You like it? Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. I think it's time. We gotta, I gotta, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ask him for some champagne and shit like that. And we just, that's what you want, right? I'm gonna with you. So Legacy watched enough, you guys. There's really not much else to see. She right. already agreed to doing other things outside of this business meeting, so we decided to just go in. Gotcha. You like fresh champagne? What's up? Driver! You know what we're doing? Driver. What? That's what we're doing. What you doing? Uh uh-uh. what what you doing? You trying to go on the people's houses? What you mean? You know this is a setup? No, like he's a... The same nigga you put me on, the same nigga you got me watching YouTube videos of the house. It's the same nigga that no, you sit in the car claiming that you're gonna go back to the house with? Influencing my ass. What the f does that mean? Is that an excuse for you to do what you do? Is, is say what you say? You gonna go back to the house? You gonna drink some champagne? You ain't telling me you was out here. You told me you was going to do some hell. Man, look, get the, get the fuck out the van, bro. I ain't got time for that. Get the fuck out the van. Get out the van. What you mean you ain't got nothing to do with me? You my business. No, I'm trying to influence myself. Well, look. You want me to get bigger. This is where you want to be? Yo, I'm trying This is where you want to be? No, nah, you can't be with me. Nah, fuck all that. What are you talking about? Get out the van or I'm done. I'm done. Get out the van for what? All right, come on. 
It's cold. Come what on. are you doing? Come on. Yo, what Come are you on. doing? I, I want. I got you. I want to talk to him. I got you. To him. I got you. No, you're tripping. I got you. You are so tripping. Nah, I ain't doing no tripping. First of all, just put it down, bro. You're tripping. I'm just here. So look, the whole entire time you've been on the low shit the whole entire time. I hired someone to be able to play the decoy. So the moment you get the interview, all that was just a setup. A setup for what? To see if you was loyal to your boyfriend or not. You good, bro? Okay, first of all, I'm still loyal. Like I was trying to go into the house. How you loyal? What do you mean? Do you not even know who he is? So, I know he is because of you. The van, exactly. He was watching everything that, that you said and, All right. and agreed to do. Exactly. Okay, well, you know. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, I'm <laughs> sorry. I got one life, bro. We're not I got on one life. And I'm I not married. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. If, you, if that's the case, stay single. Right? You want to do you? Stay single. That obviously accomplishes what you're trying to do. Again, if you want multiple boyfriends, say that. It's that easy. It's so easy. The men don't care. And the women don't care. You want multiple girlfriends? Say that. It's that easy. It's easy. Communication is key. It's so easy. You can have everything in this life you want if you communicate correctly. It's that simple. You got 20 girlfriends. You want 20? Get 20. You can have 100 girlfriends. You want 100. They don't care. Y'all tripping out here because y'all out here trying to manipulate. I don't belong to nobody. Y'all don't belong to him. I love you. Like, nah, nah, you don't. That ain't love. Do. Like, he's gonna, he gonna put us on. Well, he gonna put me on. And put you, you on. Exactly. You worried this about is, yourself. This is my life. What's you worried, worried about yourself. Exactly. Your life. Like, so why are you with me if you only if it's only your life? It's not just my life. Nah, I keep it like that. that exactly. So keep it like that. You don't love me. She did That's say that. Why can't we work through? Like, I don't really everything. got time for this. So what was your intentions with Gio? My intention with Gio was to like. It's on camera. It's on camera. What, what, what you felt like her intentions was? Be honest, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, like Gio, you ain't gotta be childish. <laughs> we had a whole like plan nah. to yeah, you do thought, yeah, you his thought. merch. Yeah, you thought. And I get, I get where she coming from. Her business, bro. Her business. She want to do celebrity hair. She want to be around a celebrity. She want to, you know what I mean? She want to up her life. I get that part. I get that part. But the touching the man leg and talking about going to his house and drinking champagne and talking about some, oh, we can do business and this can get personal. Like all that stuff right there. Those are red flags. Okay. So you need to, you need to write down your business script and you need to get that junk right. Cause some of the stuff you got in there, you need to X out. It is too friendly. That ain't business. You know what I'm saying? That's personal. Like, come on, bro. Tomorrow we got one life to live. She ain't got God first, y'all. She ain't immortal. She ain't. She don't even know that. She don't even know it yet. She thinking she got. She got a. She got a time limit. There ain't no time limit when you're immortal. There's no time limit. I keep telling y'all that. You put God first, and then you're gonna change your life around. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. You don't have no time limit. Ain't no time limit. We on a rock in space. Where we? Where we going? Huh? Come on, bro. What do you it's mean? a setup. It's a setup. All this shit is a setup. It's a matrix, okay. man. Y'all tripping. Jack, I set you up. You thought this was real? Yeah. Nah. What's the chance of mm -hmm. Smooth Gio hitting me up? Like, I, bro, I didn't huh? message this nigga like 30 times. Why? And like, he just hit me back up to- And I just found out about that today. Right. What do you mean? I'm not going to tell you everybody I messaged trying to get my name out there. Like, that's wild. Say we're this. not married. Like you need to even, even have all No, we ain't married and we're not no, gonna be married. No, we ain't married. Like you said, we're not married. And this is the part where I was telling y'all everybody got their different morals and principles. So you gotta you should have communicated this in the beginning. You gotta let you gotta let the man know what you is and how you is and how you handle your business or whatever the case may be, if it's working for you. It don't seem like it's working though. You said you messaged a man thirty times and he replied back. After at least the third time, I mean I, I would have been like, okay, obviously they're not messaging him back. You gonna hit him 30 times? <laughs> and you thought he was gonna be like, oh. <laughs> no. So we're not gonna be married. You know okay. Gio? So hey, Gio. Gio. We're gonna lay the smooth shit on her ass if that's what she wanted. So Gio, this is what she wanted. So like, I, I can model your merch. Like, nah, you ain't modeling shit. I can be a, a <laughs> for you. You ain't modeling shit. I don't get you it. I want you to play with my top. That's weird. I ain't playing with your top. Nah, you playing with my top. I thought you loved me. So you don't want to see me progress and get better? Like I said, this was already this set up. Somebody else. He came to me because he already felt like he wasn't loyal. That's the whole reason why he didn't come to me. I'm so sorry. My definition of loyal is different than this. Like, 
I mean, I said what I said. How you going to say monogamous and all this other shit? What do you mean? But first Your of definition all, of loyalty? First of all, I only felt comfortable because you did what you did, okay? Like, what did he do? Like, you All right? But you can't... So what did he do? See, I'm, I told y'all. You only feel comfortable because of what he did. What did he do? I t- didn't I tell y'all it was something that either he did that made her want to change her mind or made her, made her want to drop him? I didn't I tell y'all that? I told y'all. They don't just step out, bro. You had to do something. Women not like that. Like you tripping or you, or you wasn't doing something. You, you feel what I'm saying? Come on now. When you ain't doing a job, that's the only time they going to try to do something else. Come on now. So what did he do? Did this a bust at all. Can we just go? Can we just go? Like, you know, all these fucking cameras around. Like, what is this? What is this? You really think he's here for you, huh? Bro, what do you mean? Like, why wouldn't yeah, he? Yeah, you, you know who the fuck I am? Or something that you know ain't real. Uh, yeah, I do. Like, why wouldn't he want me to follow this shit? You. Yeah, no, you're, now we yeah, are you ready? Yeah, all right. We can go finish talking about this with you. All right. No, I'm no, just like a It's just a test. It was like a test. He wanted to put you on the test. Yeah, you came out here for nothing. Nah, you ain't got no way home, so find your way home. Find your way home. No. Nah, look. You know what I'm going to do? I got you. I got you. Look, look. Get your Uber. Get your Uber. Uber don't take cash. That's right. Might want to find another nigga to take you home then. Sit on the road. All right. All right. All right. Obviously not. Where her phone at? Why she can't just get her own Uber? What kind of business you running? Like, I'm not understanding. Can't she just take her phone out and just call her own Uber and then, like Batman, just get in the car and leave? I'm not understanding what's going on. Hmm. It's a lot of red flags in this video, y'all. Blame me. Hey, leave her alone, bro. This shit is wild. You won't You won't fail. Find me. Nigga. You fail. I didn't even have sex with him. Like, bro. Okay, whatever. This shit is wild. And why are you still following me, bro? Like, this shit is crazy. All the cameras? You mad about cameras? You mad because you fail? All right. He ain't trying to let it go. He ain't trying to let it go, y'all. You see, he following him. Why you following her, bro? He gonna try to work it out. And I'm gonna tell you right now, she not gonna change. She not. She is who she is, which is, is not bad. She just gotta tell people who she is. We know now. But you should have told this man before. So for your future relationships, make sure you, you, you tell these men who you are. Cause you, nah, your, your, your definition of fella is not... He gonna be a good friend though. Your definition of... No, it's light. That was, I appreciate you, bro. Sure. Sure. Light, plus, that wasn't even meaning. We had to do much, right? We had to do much. That right. Was, she was so bugged out, bro. Also, it's on your time. Why's your time? It's not my time. Your time is good. What's the case, bro? Because you fucked up. Now, say less. Now, you good. Nah, nah, find your way. Find your way. Nah, like I said. All right, say less. Say less. Say less. Have a good time, B. Nah, have, a, have a good time, B. Doses. Doses. All right. All right, all right, all right, fun. Go ahead, go ahead. Wasn't that smooth, was it? You guys, when we do these loyalty tests and I tell you guys that you are caught, we've been watching the whole entire time, maybe you should stop trying to finesse your way out of it and right. just, you know what I'm saying, take accountability. Take accountability. And that's exactly what Slay was doing. So hopefully she does take accountability. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong with her. She's got to tell people. She want to have multiple options. She want to have multiple boyfriends. Go. That is totally Bye. fine. Say that shit, man. Bye. There's plenty of men out here like, what's up? There's going to be a hundred of men DM you. What's up? You can do my hair, baby. Me and my bros. Like, what's up? That's what I'm saying. We don't care. You just got to be real. All that fake stuff, man. It's 2025. Do your thing. If you all invested in that social media shit, that's what you want to do, do that. Obviously, he ain't here for you. It is. Mm-hmm. Exactly, man. I got my. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit. Head off your shit. You know what I'm saying? Now you start fresh. I ain't even tripping. Look, I know somebody gonna treat me right. Look, if any ladies wanna holler at me, look, you hit my Instag
Victor V I P Sherma Ross S R M I R A T H. Look, I love it, man. Nah, for real. Look, I already knew what it was. I knew what it was. Those. So this was definitely one for the books, you guys. If you enjoyed this loyalty test, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, you guys. Comment down in the comments if you think she failed or passed this test. Mm, that was good. I just think she she got to find her, hers, you know what I'm saying? Find somebody who, who likes everything about her. Somebody who, they don't care about her liking pictures and commenting and stuff like that. They not worry about none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They don't care that to share that girl with another man. They don't, they don't care. There's men out there like that, so there's it's, it's billions of people out here, so this. She can find a couple thousand men that definitely will be down with that. I promise you. I promise you. So it's like, find them men and she'll be good in the game. She'll be good. She'll live her life. She'll be happy in her little kingdom. And that's totally fine. You feel me? Somebody be on that program that she running. I ain't on that shit. And most men who ain't gonna do that. I ain't doing that. But she will definitely find somebody that will. See y'all in the next one, man. Jack, thanks for the video. Geo, it's great. All right, y'all. Peace.